A quick look at the Harley-Davidson low rider would make it immediately clear this is anything but a naked bike. Born over in Milwaukee back in 1977 as part of the Dyna family, the model established itself over the years as a cruiser you can count on, but if a bike is, or isn't, a certain way as it rolls off the assembly lines, it doesn't mean a completely new approach can't be tried in the custom industry. And if you were planning to have a custom motorcycle dish served with all the bells and whistles this Saturday, you've come to the right place, enter the Harley-Davidson Low Rider S Edition, an American two-wheeler that went off the rails over in Switzerland where, under the guidance of local custom garage Bundner bike, was transformed into something it was never meant to be, Harley itself describes the bike as the black sheep of the blacktop, but in this incarnation the definition seems even more fitting. The blacked out performance cruiser is still the same underneath, but its clothes are completely different. And highly limited, to say the least, you see, Harley Davidson is turning 120 years old in 2023, and the addition is Bunderbike's way of wishing it a happy birthday. It makes no secret of that, as all over the bike's bike there are references to Tay Anniversary, and in Golden Highlights, nonetheless but it's not those elements that catch the eye the most, but the bike's nakedness. Whereas the front, uncharacteristically for a naked, retains a headlight fairing, a custom one, not the original, the rear has been significantly shortened, dropping the bulky rear fender and getting a tubular frame one with integrated LED lights instead. The choice leaves the rear wheel completely exposed, making the Harley look more like a Japanese bike. To match the new look, the seat has been completely redesigned, moving from the welcoming, lush stock one to a much sharper piece, Bunner bike modified the look of a lot more of the bike's stock elements, replacing the front fender as well, it looks quite similar to the original one, adding its own controls for the gas and clutch, and fitting new mirrors under the aftermarket handlebar. The tank is modified as well, fitting right in with the sportier attitude of the ride, the engine was left unchanged, meaning we're dealing with the Milwaukee 8117 power plant. It does breathe through a DR. Jekyll Mr. Hyde exhaust system, and moves a body that has now been propped on Olean suspension elements. Stopping power is ensured by Brembo hardware, Bunner bike does not say how much the stripped low rider S is worth, but for reference we will remind you Harley is selling the model in stock form starting at $18,199.